Look closely at the back of a European truck. Ever notice one of the rear axles lifting clean off the ground? Why would a truck drive around with fewer wheels touching the road when it's built to carry heavy loads? Let's find out. Before we dive into advantages, let's make sure we're all on the same page. A bogey or tag axle is a liftable axle positioned behind the drive axle, while a pusher axle is a liftable axle placed in front of the drive axle. Imagine it like a backpack with adjustable straps. If your backpack is light, you don't need both shoulders carrying the weight. But when it's heavy, you spread the load across both straps. That's exactly what trucks do with their bogey layouts. If a truck works fine with two axles, why add three or even four? The answer comes down to weight distribution and regulations. First, legal axle load limits. In Europe, strict laws limit how much weight can be placed on each axle. For example, a single axle might be limited to 10 to 12 tons, depending on country. If your load exceeds that, you need an extra axle to spread out the pressure. Second, road protection. Heavy concentrated loads destroy asphalt and bridges. By spreading the weight across more axles, road wear is reduced. Third, truck stability. More axles mean more tire contact patches. That increases grip and improves braking, especially under a full load. So more axles equals safer trucks plus happier governments plus longer lasting roads. Here's where European trucks get really smart. A tag axle, sometimes called a bogey axle, is a non-driven axle that sits behind the drive axle. Unlike the powered axles, it doesn't deliver torque to the wheels. Instead, its main role is to share the load weight. But the clever part is this, it can be lifted off the ground whenever it's not needed. So why would you want to do that? Fuel savings. Every wheel on the ground creates rolling resistance. That means more drag, more friction, and more energy burned. Lift a tag axle when the truck is carrying less weight, and suddenly you've reduced resistance, giving the truck better mileage. On long hauls, this small adjustment can translate into thousands of euros saved over the truck's lifetime. Tire savings. Tires on a heavy-duty truck aren't cheap, and the fewer miles they touch the ground, the longer they last. By lifting the tag axle during light loads, those tires sit idle, waiting fresh for when they're truly needed. It's like having a backup set that ages at half the speed. Maneuverability. Trucks with multiple axles can feel like they're stuck on rails when turning in tight spaces. By lifting the rearmost axle, the truck effectively shortens its wheelbase. The result? A tighter turning circle, making it much easier to navigate narrow streets, crowded loading docks, or old European city centers where roads were never designed for modern freight. Flexibility. The tag axle gives one truck a dual personality. It can legally carry heavy loads with all axles down, spreading weight evenly across them. But when the job only requires lighter cargo, the axle comes up, instantly transforming the truck into a more efficient, more agile machine. It's like having both a heavyweight hauler and a nimble delivery truck in one package. It's this ability to adapt instantly, to go from fully loaded motorway beast to city street negotiator in seconds that makes the tag axle such a uniquely European solution. Let's put all of this into a real world scenario. Picture a Scania R-Series tractor equipped with a bogey axle setup. Early in the morning, it's loaded to the brim with steel beams at a construction yard. On the motorway, every axle is on the ground. The weight spread evenly to stay within legal limits. The truck feels planted, stable, and ready to cover long distances. But later that day, things change. The steel beams are delivered, and the truck is left with only a partial load. Now, the driver has to take the vehicle into downtown Paris, a maze of narrow streets, sharp corners, and delivery spots that were designed for horse-drawn carts, not modern semis. This is where the magic happens. The driver flips a switch and the tag axle lifts instantly. Rolling resistance drops, saving fuel. 
The rear wheels no longer drag in tight turns, giving the truck a sharper turning radius. The truck feels more agile, as if it suddenly shed a few meters of length. What could have been a stressful, slow crawl through the city turns into a far smoother delivery run. And once it's back on the motorway, fully reloaded, the tag axle drops again, distributing weight safely across all axles. That's the beauty of the tag axle, built-in flexibility. It's one of the reasons why, across Europe, you'll see this set up everywhere. From long-haul tractors to regional delivery rigs. For operators, it's not just a clever engineering feature. It's a daily money saver and problem solver. Let's break it down in a clear list. 1. Load flexibility. One truck can handle both light and heavy duties. 2. Maneuverability. Shorter turning radius when the axle is lifted. Some tag axles are even steerable, further reducing turning circle. 3. Lower operating costs. Reduced tire wear. Better fuel economy. 4. Legal compliance. Meets strict EU axle weight laws without overloading. 5. Comfort and safety. More axles mean smoother ride when loaded. Better braking distribution under heavy cargo. You'll notice this bogey tag axle setup is especially common in Europe, more than the United States. Why? 1. Tighter cities. European streets and delivery points are older and narrower. Trucks need more maneuverability. 2. Stricter axle laws. Europe enforces axle weight limits more tightly than the US, where gross vehicle weight is usually the main focus. 3. Fuel costs. With diesel much more expensive in Europe, efficiency is everything. A liftable axle saves thousands of euros annually. 4. Different truck lengths. In the US, longer trailers are allowed, so spreading weight is easier across length. In Europe, with stricter length rules, weight has to be managed more compactly, and extra axles are the solution. Of course, nothing is perfect. Bogey tag axles do come with downsides. Added weight. More axles mean more chassis weight, which slightly reduces payload capacity. Higher upfront cost. Lift axles and air suspension aren't cheap to install. Maintenance. More axles equals more brakes, more tires, more moving parts. Reduced traction. Since tag axles aren't powered, lifting them may reduce traction in slippery conditions. Still, the trade-offs usually pay off, especially for European haulers juggling different types of loads daily. So next time you see a big Volvo or Scania rolling down the highway with one axle floating in the air, you'll know the secret. It's not broken, it's actually a genius design that makes trucks more efficient, flexible, and city-friendly. From saving fuel to keeping within Europe's strict laws, the bogey axle layout shows just how much thought goes into every nut and bolt of a modern semi. If you enjoyed learning about this clever trucking trick, hit that like button, share this video with your fellow truck enthusiasts, and let me know in the comments. Which axle setup do you think is the most clever? Tag axle, twin steer, or the classic 6x4. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.